In this video, we will find out what the sine of 15 degrees is. So, the first thing you notice is that sine of 15 degrees, that's 15 degrees is half of 30 degrees. And it'll be pretty obvious that we're going to be using the half angle formula. So the half angle formula is going to be sine of theta over 2, which in this case theta is 30, is going to be equal to the plus minus. Now in this case, we have 15 degrees, so we know it's going to be plus, but of 1 minus cosine of theta over 2. So as you can see, to find out what sine of 30 over 2, which is the same thing as 15, we're going to have to find out what 1 minus cosine of 30 over 2 is. Now, so to, the only thing stopping us back from having the answer is the cosine of 30. So I'm going to find out what the cosine of 30 is. To do that, I'm going to draw my unit circle. And cosine, remember, is the x value. So I'm just going to make this so it's an equilateral 60, 60, 60. So that all these sides are 1. And then this right over here is 1 half. I need to find the length of this, which is going to, uh, to do that, I can use the Pythagorean theorem since this right here is a right angle. So it's going to be 1 squared, which is equal to 1, is equal to 1 half squared, which is 1 fourth, plus x squared. So x squared is going to be 3 fourths. x is going to be the square root of 3 over 2. So the cosine of 30 is the square root of 3 over 2. So that means that the sine of 15 degrees is going to equal to the square root of 1 minus square root of 3 over 2 divided by 2. And uh, this you could, of course, simplify a bit more, but I don't really think it's necessary. At this point, you basically know what the answer is. So uh, thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.